Hello everyone. Uh, let's continue solving another question in Hacker Rank Python. Uh, basically, the name of this question is list, right? So let's just start by reading the problem statement. Okay. So over here, it is given that we need to consider a list. Obviously, the name of question is also list. So it's very very usual that it will deal with lists only, right? what you need to do is you have to perform following operations on that particular list right so there are very uh, as you can as you know that the uh, list is a mutable data type and it has lot of inbuilt functions or methods which are available in list right basically these methods are used to update the list or update the values inside the list right so you can see there are seven types of functions which uh, the question has given us that you need to perform insert, you need to perform print, you need to perform remove, you need to perform append, then sort, then pop, and then reverse, right? But based on the user input, you have to perform all these operations, right? What you need to do is you need to perform these based on the user input, right? What this question will tell us is, first of all, it will give us an a n, right? So n means number of operations we need to perform right so let's just say uh, this problem statement wants us to print remove append and sort things right so it will give us n equals to false and then one by one it will give us these values in the form of user input only right so let's jump into the question and try to solve this right okay so to start on this particular question the first thing which we need to do is we need to apply a for loop in the range of n right because in the problem statement it is given that they will be trying to input n times uh, a particular command right so that is why what i have taken is i have taken a simple loop which runs n time right and each time i'll try to get commands from this particular questions right so the command will be map of str dot input dot split okay why am i writing this particular part right this is the main thing over here because you can see that they are appending the command and then they are also giving us the argument which we want to pass which we have to pass inside that particular command right so this particular map function will be in the form of a map object and then i'll convert that map object into a command list so how to do it you just have to pass the map function into command list so i'll just try to print it for you and show uh, how things looks right now uh, it will not give the answer but it will just like help us in debugging things so you see that i have got all the lists uh, basically inputs now over here now let me give you some better overview of this see this is a list right over here it has written insert comma zero comma right so i have to perform this operation on a list right so l1 dot insert i have to write right and in, inside insert i have to keep this as an index value and keep it as a value which i want to insert in the list right if you have to use append right you need to write l1 dot append right and now you know that append function only uses single argument right so you just have to write nine inside it right so basically we'll try to traverse all this uh, values from the list and then apply some uh, basically what we can say apply some methods based on the input given by the hacker ring, right yeah. now to start with what i'll write is first of all let's start from the insert part if cmd list of zero is equals to equals to insert right if then uh, command is insert so what we'll do is inside a list, right? So I'll create a basically a null list also over here. 
what we'll do inside the list will perform the insert operation right so it will be l1 dot insert right and what we will pass inside the insert statement first of all int of cmd list of one comma cmd list of two right <laughs> then we'll move forward with elif the second command is print statement so if cmd list of zero is equals to equals to print now you should know why i am writing cmd list of zero because the command will always be at the first index you can see over here first index first index of the list right so what i'll do is i'll just print the list l1 then next is elif cmd list of zero equals to equals to next command is remove command right so I'll write remove inside quotes. If this happens, what I'll do is I'll remove L1 dot remove CMD list of one. Again, remove also use a single argument. Then I'll if next is append, right? CMD list of zero equals to equals to append, right? So what I'll do is I'll write L1 dot append and inside append I'll pass cmd list of one because append also uses single function cmd list of zero equals to equals to sort right so for sorting what I'll do is I'll just print or I'll just write cmd list dot sort in sort we don't have to pass any argument because sort is a sort can perform itself without any argument sorting is just like arranging data into a uh, ascending or descending order right then cmd list is equals to equals to pop again inside pop also there is no need to uh, write any argument or pass any argument so we'll just write print or we'll just write cmd list dot pop right last one which is remaining is cmd list of zero is equals to equals to reverse right so again reverse also does not take any argument so we'll just write a reverse okay so i'll just go through it one by one uh, over here i have not written int which is wrong everything should be an int by default the user input which we are getting is in the form of string that is why i'm writing int over here then again remove will also come inside int because it is a number and the input we are getting giving again in append also i'll write int fine so i think now everything is sorted this is what we used we were trying to create so i'll give you a full view how the code looks right now this is how code looks right now and we'll just run this part it is giving us an error at the point insert expected to argument got one right so it is giving us error at insert only fine so let's go to insert and see why it is giving such problem right because maybe we have written a extra bracket this is the problem with hacker rank it automatically l1 dot insert int cmd list cmd list okay are we missing anything no we are not right uh okay i have not closed this bracket got it right now it will work so sample test case your output is this okay i know why it is coming because we have also left a print over here now run this code okay again six five ten i think the sorting function is not working so six five ten one five nine ten but we are not getting it 
correctly right so instead of cmd list it should be applied on l1 this should also be applied on l1 and then again this should also be applied on l1 right so it, it happens you just have to keep debugging it and solving your errors okay so now everything runs now we'll submit this code everything every test case passes right so this is the final output 